Because of the mentality of today's consumeristic throwaway society, darning has become quite a lost art. However, it is extremely useful <coughs> when you need to repair holes in textiles, especially when it comes to difficult holes in jeans. This is a pair of jeans that I just darned two days ago. The hole was in the back crotch of this pair of pants, and this would have been a very difficult place to patch for several reasons. Um, one, this is a, a location that requires a lot of strength. There's a lot of um, tension put onto this area of the pants, and a patch would probably likely not be able to stand up to that. Also, a patch would likely cause puckering because of the difficulty of the shape of the the lay of the fabric itself in this area. Darning, however, is extremely strong and it flows seamlessly with the existing curvature of the fabric. Here I have another pair of pants in need of mending. If your hole is small enough, you can take a traditional darning mushroom and lay the hole right over the mushroom face and fasten it with the metal fastener. Another option for darning is to take embroidery hoops and prepare your work surface with that instead. You want the area that is to be mended to be stretched nice and tight without wrinkling or puckering. You will also want to use quite a thick thread. For this, I will be using Coates and Clark Dual Duty Craft and Button. You don't need to double the thread over on itself. You're going to want to start outside of the very edge of the hole itself to reinforce the fabric around the hole. Something else to note, when the hole is this close to the inner seam here, I like to go all the way up into the seam with my darn to add extra integrity to the piece. It'll just make the darn that much stronger.
At this point, I would consider going through one or two more times to further fill in any um, gaps between the mending that there are, but it's also fine now the way it is. Very sturdy, filled in, not puckering, completely with the curvature of the garment.